Okay, what's going on everybody? This is no nut November challenge. This is November 3rd or something, but I'm in the fourth race. I'm, I started a little bit early. I'm in the fourth day. As I see, some of the people, I watched some of the people's video, and they said you will have dreams and stuff. Uh, when you don't do that for a while, you will actually uh, have some dreams and stuff. Actually, that was real. Yesterday, uh, I had a crazy dream. What was in the dream? It was like two groups fighting each other and I was one of, one of the group and we were shooting, uh, cutting people and all the stuff. At the end of the day, another, uh, we caught all of them and someone tried to escape. Someone tried to escape and there was a girl. And the girl was, uh, this, this is the funny thing, Vitaly, you know Vitaly prankster, his girlfriend. She was kind of great, crazy and stuff. And she actually went and cut another person when he tried to break, you know, break into that thing and try to kill us. And she was going and cutting that guy, and she started killing everybody like crazy. And after that, uh, I wake up at six o'clock in the morning. So it was the whole night dream. It fe felt like a long, long dream. Uh, I felt like everything going through these things, the entire war, you know, those kind of things. I felt I don't know. Somebody said, uh, somebody made a video about this non-net challenge in November and the guy said you will have, you will be having crazy dreams uh, doing that um, when you do that. Actually, I had another dream yesterday, this day, another dream and I'm still, in, still waiting for other effects, you know. I don't know, uh, maybe this is a delusion or I don't know what is going on, but I just want to go all the way through and see all the effects and see whether it is really good for you or not and uh, maybe i will attach another video with this see you guys later free and widely available pornography is having on young people especially men in our society at this time well i think it it's like treasure island in in pinocchio it's all pleasure with no responsibility that's deadening it's 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 parasitical in a sense, and I don't mean that, I'm not making a value judgment. I mean, it's no wonder the young guys are caught up in this, because it's an unbelievably powerful technology. It, it drove the development of the internet, let's not forget, yeah. right? So it taps into one viciously primordial motivation. And so these guys are being blasted by what biologists call super stimuli all the time. So imagine that there's a biological stimulus that has an effect on you, and then you can magnify it. And the, the typical porn actress, not the amateurs, but the professionals, have their sexually provocative physical elements exaggerated. Mm -hmm. And so men are very visual in terms of their sexual processing. Um, and so, you know, the, the guys are pulled into it, and they're pulled into it also by curiosity. But I think that ethically it's a, it's a, it's, it's not good. It's not good. It, it's... It's an easy out, that's the other thing, you know, yeah. is what you should be doing is going out and finding someone to have a relationship with. And if you can gratify yourself with no transformation, but let's say you can't find someone, well then you might say that's an indication you should change. Mm -hmm. It is in fact an indication that you should change, because what better indication are you going to get than that no one wants to be intimate right. with you? Right. There, it's the ultimate rejection, and that's partly why men are terrified of it, and, and I understand that. Um, and I under, also understand the MGTOW guys, you know, who are, who are just recommending that men don't enter into long-term permanent relationships with women. I mm -hmm. understand where they're coming from, although I called them pathetic weasels a while back. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. Um, See, that's where I said, you, you, you're worried about every yeah, little yeah, thing. Yeah. You said, once you say some... Well, they're providing a lot of young guys who, who need a kick to go out there. Go, right, they're actually giving them the back door. They're, they're so giving them a rationale, yeah, yeah. And I've seen this have very detrimental effects on a number of people yeah. already, and, and partly in my clinical practice, because these guys, the young guys who, who aren't successful, they're looking for a reason why women are terrible, because otherwise they have to think, well, they're just not presentable, which is what they do have to think, because that's almost the definition of presentable, right? right? So... And then the MGTOW guys give them a rationale, you know, we are in a gynocentric world and females have got control and they'll like wipe you out if they have the opportunity. It's like, well, 
Some females will do that to some guys some of the time, and sometimes it's brutal. I've had clients who've been dragged through the court systems and mm -hmm. just ruined, and I, I was unable to help them. I did everything I could to maneuver and, and negotiate and plan and strategize so carefully to get them to do everything right, and it didn't help. I mean, the court systems can be absolutely brutal to men. It's awful. Yeah, that's really interesting. So the guys that are taking the easy out on that, so to speak, and disconnecting from having those relationships, in a way, it's the same. It's just a different out that, that porn is replacing for that, that human connection, too. So that's kind yeah. of fascinating.